lunch today is six dollars because Costco is really cheap. Speaking of Costco, while we were walking through the Costco today, Mal overheard some other people in an aisle and they commented on this salad, Mediterranean Crunch. And you said that they said it was really good? Yeah, they were excited it was like in stock. So Mal was like, huh, and then picked up a salad and that's what we're having for, uh, for dinner tonight. I say I dinner. Huh? I made a big mess with well, this. That's fine. It does look nice. Yeah. It's um it's a bit of it's a bit on the lighter side, but also, you know, we had Costco lunch and we had lunch late, and now we're like, eh, we don't really need like a super big dinner. And it is late. It's one in the morning, which is late. Reason being, um we uh we did breakfast stream this morning, and then we took a nap, we got up. We went out and did uh, some shopping. We ate lunch at Costco because who doesn't want to eat lunch for for six dollars? Um, I like trying new things, but occasionally, if you're going to be at the Costco anyway, it's kind of hard not to just say, "Well, I eat at the Costco at six dollars." Then we came back and we worked on stuff. Tonight was uh, disc only. Uh, we didn't do disc only last month, so it was kind of a bit of a reunion because we. Missed a month. Everyone is just really, really busy in June. And then after that, we actually, um, or I needed to record something with someone. Um, and I think it'll be out by the time this vlog comes out. So I think I'm going to talk about it. Uh, I recorded a uh, Splatoon 2 match with um, Emil, Tom, and John. Uh, Emil's been working on his Splatoon Let's Play. Uh, for a while and uh, he wanted he's been doing some like multiplayer stuff and he wanted to do uh, a group of us doing Salmon Run so we did Salmon Run it was the first time I'd ever played Salmon Run but it you know it went pretty well but we got started on that after disc only and it's now one in the morning but it's it's fine however I'm very excited because something arrived earlier and I have not had a chance to deal with it. And the thing that arrived is this, <laughs> a new ceiling fan. It's uh, the light, which uh, we've you know been slowly replacing the lights in here. Let me show you this light. And again, the, I, the audio exposure on the camera, let me lock the exposure. I'm gonna lock the exposure. So let's lock the exposure. And then let me turn on this light. Which one is it, this one? Nope, this. So you can see, I've locked the exposure, you can see how much difference it makes. None. It makes the walls yellow. That's all it does. It is stupid. It's a stupid light. It's a stupid, stupid light. <sighs> anyway, uh, that is getting replaced today. And I talked about it before, the bulb uh, type, not the bulb type, it's the base of the bulb, is candelabra, the really, really tiny ones. And I don't know why, that's really strange. But after we eat dinner, uh, I'm going to put the new lights in, which are the same uh, lumen value, the same lumen intensity and color temperature as those lights. So it should be, right certainly hoping it's going to be right the other thing is um and this is like a slight worry but i guess we'll find out whenever we put the bulbs in the the dome dome thank you the dome i think has a yellow tint to it i'm not sure so it might make the lights like slightly yellow but i won't know until i do it but first i'm gonna eat the salad how is the salad by the way good what does it taste like? Balsamic. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I like balsamic. That's actually, that's one of the things we bought today is there was a little thing of um, balsamic. Reduction. Yeah, at, uh, at Costco. And we're like, oh, we could put that on fish or something. I'm using my left hand for this and it's hard. Hmm. I like it. Yeah. No, that is good. I like that a lot. 
Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was not the right one. Again. Well, that is all. It's brighter, but it's garish. It's garish? Yeah. Is it garish because of the, the, um. How bright it is? Oh, is that what you mean? Or like, I don't know. Do you mean it's too bright or do you mean it's the thing on the, the, the what you call it, the dome? It might be too bright. You know what would probably help what? is if we turned on this light also. I think that would probably, yeah. Now, now, now looks pretty great, doesn't it? I guess. Now it looks great. Got lots of light. Okay. <laughs> Kepler's trying to sleep. Yeah, Kep Kepler is up in his cat tree. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. We won't disturb Please you. Turn off the chandelier. I'm sorry. Let me turn that off for you, Mr. Kittens. There you go. I'm sorry. You can go. You go back to dreamland. You go. dreamland. Yeah. Oh, your pickle's up there. Did you want this up there? I guess you did. It's up there for a reason. If you didn't want it, you would have kicked it out. Buying LED lights is weird, man, because like most of the stuff, like the specialty stuff, if you need something that's a non-standard bulb size, yeah. like you, you run out of like options for brand names that you know about like real quick. So these are Bogal bulbs from China where everything on the outside of the packaging is misspelled and you're just kind of like okay <laughs> but trying to find 3000 Kelvin candelabra lights which are uh, 100 watt equivalent bulbs is like impossible it's impossible even on Amazon it's impossible and you you know you're down to just a few specific options it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, um, cool. Those are also the lights that go in our room. And our room is actually really, really dark. So we'll get those replaced too. <laughs> All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You want to stay there? You're not going to come off the bed? Okay, well, he has his landing pad, so he's... He's good.